guys, it is now Saturday, so it's two days later. I ended up not vlogging yesterday because really I wasn't able to do anything because my studio was a mess and obviously I literally couldn't sew because I didn't have anything in place. And then my family friend came over to help me start getting it set up, but he wasn't able to like fully finish it yesterday because he had other things to do. So we like half finished it yesterday, but obviously still not fully functional. So I really wasn't able to do a lot, whole lot except to just be on my computer and get a bunch of like that kind of work done. So it wasn't anything exciting for me to vlog necessarily, but we officially have it set up and it is ready. So I have both of my machines now. I have yet to bring in my like last little desk table to see if it fits. I think it should, but we're gonna have to see. And obviously this is still a mess because I don't have my tables where all this stuff usually was. So now I need to kind of like figure out like how I want to rearrange everything and where I want to put everything. So that's kind of what I need to do now, but it's already halfway through the day. It's like maybe one or two at this point, but I'm so excited to have gotten everything like ready and prepped. I already tested the machine and I think it works fine. You know, I need to, you know, continue to, to just like try it, make sure everything is set up properly, but I did already like test it and it seems to be working just fine. So very excited about that. But yeah, I haven't been able to get any work done production wise just because I literally didn't have my studio set up. So now it's just time to set it up, but I really don't want to set it up today because it's so nice out. It's literally almost like 70 degrees out today, which is so rare in the Midwest in March. So I want to enjoy the day and like, you know, be outside a little bit, but also I need to get this all ready so I can continue to like sew and get things done because I do have orders to continue making still. So that is my current dilemma. That being said, I'm going to start cleaning this up a little bit and then maybe we'll take a little break, go on a walk and then continue. But yeah, we've got quite a lot to, to figure out. So let's get started. So I've started cleaning things up and it's looking a little bit better. I honestly just have to do a lot of like scrap transferring. So bringing all of my little like mason jars of scraps down to the garage and dumping them into their respective color bins is something that I really need to do. And I also really need to go through all my scraps here again because they're starting to pile up in this closet a whole lot and I wanna make sure everything's organized. And you know, I wanna make sure that I'm going through all of my scraps and seeing everything that I have and what I can use because I did that with Lily the other day and it was very helpful. I found fabrics that I forgot about. So I was like, I need to, you know, keep that a little bit more organized. So I'm gonna do that, but I need to go outside because I've seen so many people pass by and I am getting FOMO of not being outside when it's nice out. So I'm gonna take a little walk and we will get back to this later, but I'm feeling good about just like reorganizing this space because yeah, I just really wanna start getting rid of my scraps. And I feel like I can't do that if I don't really fully organize and know what I have. So I'm excited to do that. Um, but I also need to get it like done quick so I can continue working because I still have work to do. So we're doing great, but I'm excited about the setup. Also the table fit perfectly in this little space too. I don't know, hold on. Um, yeah, literally fit perfectly. So love that for us. We now have like a perfect setup. And yeah, I kind of wish my sewing machine and serger were switched places in all honesty, but I'm not gonna go through the trouble of moving them. So we're just gonna leave it as is. But I'm so excited about it. And yeah, that is the update for now. I'm gonna go take a walk and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, I am back from my walk. It is literally so warm out, legitimately like 71 degrees out. And I'm ready to continue with this. I mean, am I really ready? No, I don't really feel like continuing this right now, but I also just wanna get it cleaned up. So I'm gonna start with this closet and just getting all these scraps kind of reorganized and put in their respective like bins and areas. And then we'll start kind of moving scraps downstairs as needed as well. Then I just can't wait to freaking vacuum this place because it's stressing me out. So let's clean. Okay, so the closet is basically like fully cleaned at this point. I just have the fabrics that I am currently using and the scraps I'm currently like filling and everything's cleared off the floor. I just vacuumed this little area as well and I put a lot of the fabrics that were sitting here downstairs 
And here's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start dumping out some of my like mason jars downstairs, but I also want to ask you guys something while I'm down there. So, so I have a bunch of fabrics that I've just had for years and I need to get rid of and I need to like use up or something. But the thing is like a lot of them are like a yard or less of fabrics that are like leftovers from projects or stuff that people have given me that were like, hey, if you wanna use this or whatever. Stuff that I've had since like before I ever started my brand, just like so much fabric. And realistically, I just am not gonna use it for my brand because a lot of it doesn't fit my brand aesthetic. Some of it is just like I could only make one thing out of it and I don't really love to only make like one of something. Um, and it just, I don't know, a lot of them just don't match my vibe very much. So that being said, I'm wondering if any of you guys would be interested if I like sold some of those on my website like i said a lot of them are a yard or less some of them are a little bit more than that but it's just stuff that i know i'm not going to use and like somebody else could be getting so much more use out of it than it just sitting here in my freaking garage like this is all the fabric that i have which is a lot obviously these are like rolls which i'm still going to be using but these two bottom shelves are literally just like scrap fabrics literally like yards or less of it and i have some really cool fabrics i just don't think i'm going to be able to use them like stuff like this like this one's really really cool but it doesn't match like my vibe whatsoever but like somebody who loves like retro prints would love to use it or even this like super cool purpley metallic one love this i've always wanted to use it but i'm not gonna have time to even figure something out with it and a bunch of like really cool ones down here too like this really pretty lilac lace i don't know just i have a lot of stuff and i want somebody to use them so let me know down below if you guys like that idea i'm gonna ask you guys on my instagram too to like you know get a bigger consensus but i think i'm gonna do that because i just have way too much and it's very overwhelming and i just know i'm not gonna use it like i know i don't have time to like mess around with a lot of these so anyway I'm gonna dump these into their respective bins. If you've never seen my zero waste videos, I basically keep all my little scraps in these mason jars next to my sewing machine. And then I have all these bins that like are color coded. So then I'll dump all of these in here once they're like too small of scraps to like be patchworked or anything. Like when it's just like really like threads in really, really small pieces. So that's what I'm doing. I also really need to start using all of these a little bit more and I have a lot of ideas I just haven't had time to like execute any of my ideas yet. So not something. So yeah, we're getting we're getting through it slowly but surely but just have way too much stuff and I need to I need a better system on how to get rid of things slash use things up. But you know, that's a problem for a uh, maybe a little bit later. So I really don't feel like finishing up the sewing room right now, but I still wanna be productive. So I'm gonna go ahead and package up all these orders that I've had here, honestly, for a couple days. Gonna get them packaged up and then maybe I'll go to the post office today, maybe tomorrow, but I at least wanna get them ready to go so that whenever I do decide to go, I can just have them ready. So let's, let's package these up. Today is Monday, so it's the start of a new week, and hopefully this week will be a little bit less chaotic than last week. I didn't intend to like randomly do a whole studio makeover and get industrial sergers and sewing machines and all things, but that happened. So this week should be a little bit more normal. I'm getting a late start to the day because I had a video to finish editing today, so I did that. It's about like 10-ish, maybe 10.30, and I think I'm gonna start cutting out the Gabrielle tops that I need to make. I have three orders of them that I need to make, and then and I'm gonna continue just like cutting out some more for the sake of pop-ups and having inventory. I feel like I've been making inventory for so long, but every time I make it, I then get orders with those sizes. So I've been sending them out, which has been really nice because I've had stuff like pre-made unintentionally, but I keep wanting to make freaking inventory to have at the pop-ups and stuff. And I keep sending it out. So I need to have inventory made. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna you know, just cut out like a couple extra ones afterwards too. And then maybe we'll cut out some other stuff as well today. But yeah, I just wanna start like really prepping for that because I have two weeks until I go to LA and I'm also last minute going to Dallas literally the weekend before I leave for LA to a see my parents but also pick up the fabrics that my mom got in Spain so that leaves us with a little less time than we originally had so I really want to get a lot of things cut and prepped and that way I can also kind of distribute it amongst myself and Starry and Lily who are both these interests that I have helping me out right now so yeah that's kind of the vibe I want to just start getting things cut out but first things first is just getting these orders out and yeah that's that's the vibe for today nothing crazy but let's get cutting I just got 
half done cutting two of the tops. I have one more left and I might cut out some other ones in a little bit as well, but it's about lunchtime. So I'm going to go, you know, do that. But also I wanted to give a quick little shout out to the brand Epi, which is the brand that I'm currently wearing um, for this tank top anyway. They reached out to me a little bit ago and I really love their story and what they stand for. They sell a bunch of really nice undergarments as far as like these nice little tank tops and sports bras, panties, all that type of stuff, which is really, really nice. And honestly, very, very comfy, I'll tell you that. And they give 10% of their proceeds to empower women out of poverty and into business, which I think is really cool because, and I really love that business model because that provides so much more value for somebody and gives them the opportunity to create a really good life for themselves. And of course, since they are centered around women empowerment, they are a completely ethical brand and they're super transparent about their process. You can check their website for it. I'm gonna read this word for word because I don't wanna mess this up, but their factory upholds all UN women's empowerment principles and prides itself on a multifaceted women go beyond program, a career, Advancement program offers English classes and leadership development training while the work-life balance program supports women in our factory as they navigate their multiple roles as mothers, wives, and daughters. The initiative also includes maternal health clinics and awareness on the prevention of violence against women. So I really love what they're doing in terms of empowering women and helping women out of poverty. I think it's literally obviously such an important thing. Also for March, since it's Women's History Month, I think it's really cool. So check them out. I will have them linked down below for you guys. Super comfy, really love everything that they sent over and really love what they're doing in terms of helping women and also supporting women creators like myself. So I'll leave them down below for you guys to check out. But yeah, anyway, gonna go have lunch really quick and then we'll get back to work. Hello everybody, we are back. It is literally so late, it's like two. Usually I only take like an hour for like lunch, but it took a lot longer. Granted, I was also doing some like social media work but i am so not in the mood today because i just like did not get much sleep yesterday which in turn caused me to have like a weird sleep schedule like last night because on saturday there was a freaking tornado watch going on here and my phone alarm like went off at 3 a.m on the dot telling me to go to a basement or take shelter because tornadoes might be happening and it scared the living crap out of me and then i was up for like an hour trying to see if i was gonna die or not and luckily nothing actually happened but it was a really really bad storm and then i ended up just like you know lacking sleep that day so then i slept in which then caused me to like not be so tired last night but then i still wanted to go to bed early so i could be on my normal sleep schedule and i'm just tired and it was super rainy last night and this morning was super drowsy too and i just am not we're not in the mood today guys i'm not in the mood i but i need to get stuff done so i'm trying to think of what my most productive thing i could do right now that i would feel good doing just i don't know i'm not feeling it i don't really feel like cutting right now because i have to be like standing for that and i just don't feel like standing right now so maybe i'll start sewing like the darts of this top at least and start getting this one pieced together since it's fully cut out yeah maybe we'll just start there and and see where the day takes us but for now i'm just tired and don't really want to do anything we're doing great <laughs> little bit and just not really in the mood the top is like halfway through and honestly i was gonna finish it and i got a bunch of new presser feet for my machine obviously because i needed new ones for the industrial and i got like the little like hemming foot and i really wanted to use it and i literally cannot unscrew the normal foot off of it because it's screwed in so tightly and i guess i don't have the strength to literally get off and i now i'm just frustrated because i've been at it for so long my hands hurt and i just need a break so I'm gonna have to call my brother up at some point this week to like unscrew it for me so I can at least test out my other feet and then re-screw it in not so tightly to the point where I can actually take it off when I need it. Don't know why it's so aggressively tightened, but such is life. Anyway, on a side note, I have been obsessed with the Olipop strawberry vanilla drinks lately. They're not energy drinks by any means, but for whatever reason, whenever I'm like not in the mood, I like will drink these and I feel like it reignites my energy and like re-inspires me to keep working. And I don't know if that's just my own mental like effect with it, but 10 out of 10 for these. Anyway, I need to answer some emails and stuff because I really haven't done that today since this morning. So gonna do that. I am possibly planning some events here in Indiana in the next uh, couple of 
months or so i met up with somebody here who is also in the sustainable fashion space which there's very few of us so i was very excited when she reached out and we hung out and talked about a bunch of stuff that we could possibly do together so we're starting to plan that and reaching out to a bunch of places here to kind of like figure out what's good so so i'm starting to get responses from everyone because i got coffee with her on friday and after we got coffee is like when we both started reaching out to all these people so obviously like people are just now getting back to us so yeah i need to do some thinking there real quick and then hopefully this will uh re-inspire me to continue sewing for the day but we will see that's all i got i will catch you guys in a little bit hello it is the next day what did i do yesterday i think i honestly was on my computer majority of the rest of the day after i stopped vlogging i had a lot of work to do so we got stuff done i just was not feeling it whatsoever but we still got stuff done just nothing that was exciting to show anyway today i do want to start finishing up the top that i started yesterday and then i have lily coming at two and i think i mentioned this in the previous vlog but when i was doing like my studio clean out and stuff i just realized i have so many fabrics that I'm probably not gonna use that are like very small off cuts or just like fabrics that I've had for years that people have given to me or that I used for previous projects in high school or whatever that I'm just realistically never gonna use and I would like them to go to a better place than just sitting in my garage. So I wanna put them up on my website. I asked you guys on Instagram and I got a lot of really good responses of people who would be very down to buy them. So I decided that with Lily, I'm going to go ahead and kind of go through all that inventory and kind of get everything measured out, take pictures, and get like kind of product descriptions and everything ready and then i'll put them up on my website so you guys can shop by the time that this video is up they'll probably be already up so check it out don't know how fast they're gonna go if they're gonna go fast or not but i just would rather give them to you guys obviously i'm going to sell them cheap so it's not gonna be like expensive or anything but it would be a nice extra little side income for me and also hopefully gives you guys like cheaper fabric options so yeah Hopefully it's a win-win for all of us. Anyway, that's kind of the plan I have in mind. So I want to get this top started, or I mean finished, and then I'm waiting on measurements for one of the tops because somebody said they wanted it a little bit longer, but they didn't really specify how much longer. So I'm waiting for that reply so that I can make it. And then I have to finish cutting out the third one that I had to do that I didn't finish cutting yesterday. That's kind of what we have going on right now, but let's finish this one up while we're at it. And then we will do some cutting. I'm still honestly not very much in the mood, but we gotta get it done, you know, gotta do what we gotta do. Let's do it. top officially done so here it is all tied up super cute again obsessed with these tops and honestly i have a lot more fabric than i thought i did for this so i've been able to actually make quite a lot and still have a decent amount left so i feel good about it because at first i thought i was only going to be able to make like a really small amount and i was scared because these have been going pretty fast too but still have a pretty decent amount of fabric left so feeling good about it so hopefully these will be around for you know at least another month or two we'll see but this is done i just have to finish cutting out the one top because the other one again i don't really know lengthwise where she wants it so we're gonna wait on that but yeah i'm gonna cut it out and then we can get started on sewing that one as well and then we'll get prepped for when lily comes and we'll do all of that so we've got a lot going on today i'm really not in the mood again either to be honest but you know, slowly but surely, we're getting things done. So I just finished cutting out the top. I have it right here. And I actually just got an order for an Ines dress, which I'm very excited about because that I really haven't been selling a lot of. Obviously it is my most expensive piece right now. So, you know, that's expected, but it makes me very happy when people do actually buy them. So I'm excited about that. I have that order to now cut out and make at some point as well, but it's about 1130. I have a lot of computer work to kind of get through and some organizing I need to do before like Lily gets here. And then obviously lunch and stuff. So I'm gonna do that 
that and i'll probably catch you guys when lily's here if not like maybe a little bit before then but we'll see anyway catch you guys in a little bit so i forgot to film with lily because we were in the garage just like literally measuring out fabrics and i was taking pictures but we got a lot of the fabrics just um, measured out and i named them all i started putting them through my website lily helped me like weigh them and just like kind of get things organized so now i just have to edit the pictures and get those uploaded to my website and then i can list them so i need to do that i also need to think of like my how i'm gonna price these so i need to kind of go through that but we got a lot done in terms of that because i don't think i would have had the energy to go through it by myself because it's just such a tedious and like not very fun thing to do so i'm thankful that lily helped with that because because yeah, did not want to do that. But yeah, now it's like five-ish and I might edit the pictures in a little bit, but I think I might like shower and just like chill out a little bit and then get back to all this later tonight. I also actually have a call with TikTok. So a few vlogs ago, I shared with you guys that I got invited into Casa TikTok, which is basically the Latinx creatives community for TikTok, which is super exciting. It's like an invite only kind of thing right now. So I have no clue who invited me in, but I'm so thankful thankful they did and they have a little like welcome meeting tonight with I guess everybody who just got invited I'm like kind of nervous like I don't know I don't consider myself like a TikTok creator because I like use it for my business and that's like the account that does well so I'm kind of curious to see how this is like beneficial for me because it's not like I can really take a lot of like sponsorships and do that type of stuff on TikTok because it's like a brand TikTok not like a personal but anyway I'm like excited I think it'll be it'll be cool and I'm just thankful to like have a little online community that I can kind of reach out to and have like direct contacts with tiktok if anything were to like ever happen or anything but that is my current update anyway i yeah i will catch you guys in a little bit depending on what i decide to do 